Yeah? It's, it's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Good morning! Reserve! Ladies and gentlemen, no, 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 I ain't about that life. Scott's being all quiet over here because people like to whine and complain about the cubicle show. When, let's, okay, let's start it off with a disclaimer. The views expressed in this cubicle show are not necessarily those of Jams 96.3 or its affiliates. And John, John said we couldn't say that because this is the Jams Facebook page, so strictly speaking, these are the views of Jams 96.3. Maybe no, not, not its affiliates, but, the, but, but <laughs> our like, show, no, not. our show, this is me, Bill, and Scott. Oh yeah, hi, I'm Scott, and this is Bill, and this is the, the Bill and the Scott, Scott cubicle, cubicle show. show. So, disclaimer out of the way, anything we say, any references to sex dungeons or anything like that, that's not... Yeah, we, we shouldn't... Yesterday's show should have been... Yeah. Yesterday's show was atrocious. Yeah, we yeah. shouldn't have spent so ride. much time talking about R. Kelly... And we're, wait, we're, we're talking. Like, our, we're starting like our show talking minutes. about Mark Kelly again. <laughs> right, what so, is going on? So let's let's okay. move right along. Here. Okay, let's move on. The let's reason, talk about the reason I want to. Before I want to clear the air here, the reason why I don't want to be calm and subdued is because that's boring and unnatural. Plus, for years in this building, there was a presence that would emerge from the studio right around ten o'clock, and then for the next three solid hours, four or so, hours, would just blast. On and on and on, and it was so loud, and nobody ever really had a problem with it. Plus, the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show, I want to say... It's only 15 minutes at top. It's only 15 and minutes. And we gave got a lot of great content to so a lot of people. What was this noise? It's more entertaining by what volume. What this presence you were talking about? It was about. a morning show that is no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> They went to Radio Hell, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. we can say that. <laughs> they definitely did. <laughs> so, so... If people can't handle 15 minutes of Bill and Scott glory, then I think that maybe they should find uh, find a new place to, a work. New place to work. Okay. No, with that being said, this. now I'm with the show, everybody. Right, so cool. today is Whew, it's hot National Hot Dog Day. Hot dog. And to commemorate hot National Hot Dog Hey, oh, there Chad. She is, everybody. All right. So the Hot Dog Day is going on today, and if you didn't know, Hot dogs are great at cookouts. Excuse me. Barbecues. They're good to eat with yet. a hamburger. They mm. go with some potato salad. They go with some ketchup, some mustard, some relish. But we decided instead of talking about hot dogs, we give you some fun facts. Fun fact. Now here's the thing. This is the game we're playing here. Hey, you want to see my hot dog? Oh, this is our. Uh, one I want to see your. I wanna, yeah, show. I want to see your cracker. Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on with these facts here. So, our non-executive producer, Jay Scott, who just uh, made his, his guest appearance, he handed me this sheet, and it's sealed by the authorities. It's seven fun facts about hot dogs. I don't know what they are. Okay, let's get So, we're going to read them, and we're going to find out just how fun Come these on, facts are. Come on, let's go. Are. Let's do this, Wait, man. But before so we do, excited. Hey. we got Jay's crackers. These things are good. These bad boys. Brand placement. Cracker, and I can pay for them. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Okay, All let's right. get on with this. Fun spell. facts about hot dogs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're keeping Here me. they are. This suspense is killing me. Come on, come okay. on, come on, come on. Here we Which go. One? Uh, Just skip number one. Seven. Skip the, the seven. No, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta okay. Do we okay. all set? The hot dog's true origins are a mystery. Um, essentially, hot dogs are a modern-day twist on the humble sausages, a food that has some seriously ancient roots. Sausages are mentioned in Homer's The Odyssey, Emperor Nero, Chief, blah, blah, blah. Oh, boy, uh, what's okay. number two? Number two. Oh, oh. There's a right and a wrong way to eat hot dogs. There's a lot of details in this that I don't... I don't what's the really, wrong way? Um, probably putting it in your butt. Number three, <laughs> mustard is the most popular hot dog topping. <laughs> I can't... I can't work under these conditions! It's too loud in here! Um... Hey, Number th in a oh, are they all? Is everybody important in a meeting? <laughs> nice. It means we have free reign of the office, and that means I can take my jacket off. Oh my Whew. god. Okay, what is number, number three? three. Um, mustard is the most popular hot dog topping, but ketchup is a close second. That really? I like a mustard more ball. popular than ketchup. Yeah, yeah I, I like them both, but I it's weird that I feel like more people would put mustard than ketchup. Number four, hot dogs have been sent to space. Number five, Americans eat and buy a lot of hot dogs. Oh, wow. No yeah, way. We, we buy dog. a lot of hot dogs. Yeah. Number six, a hot dog once sold for $169. Okay. And I number seven, a, dog. a competitive eater consumed 62 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Mm. We were just talking about the competitive hot dog champ. Yeah. Joey Chestnut. And Chestnut. The, the other guy, Kobayashi, was, you, you made a, a good comparison of the two of them. Oh, yeah. So, Prior Kobe is like... I was thinking about it, and I and originally I said, you know, Kobe 
he's like a, a fraud. Like, he ain't no chestnut. Chestnut is the one with the dog. <laughs> you said, like, Kobayashi was the Migos. You didn't let me get that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I thought... trying to build oh, up. Oh, no, okay, hold on. Hold oh, on. Hold on. Just man, back. never All mind. Right, you, this is now... Long this story is short, Eagle, so. Kobe is the Migos of... Hot dog eating because it's all hype behind it. Yo, look at this guy freaking. He's like, yo, get to number seven, get to number seven. But then when I when I swagger jack his punchline, damn. Oh, yo, that reminds me, I got an awesome damn, joke. Bitch. I got an awesome joke. I made this up. You ready for this? Fighting. Yo, are coming we, out. Are we in a feud? It's the 1040 fighting concert series. You know what we should do? I had this idea a little while ago. We should have a um, we should get some rock'em sock'em robots and have a rock'em sock'em <laughs> robots tournament. Like set it up right here and have people in the office if they're not too concerned about the noise. You know, the noise level of Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Um, what were you going to say? I got a joke for you. Okay, tell me. What did the caveman say when he didn't like the dinner the cavewoman cooked for him? <laughs> ah! That's it! No way! Ooga <laughs> <laughs> It's a good classic punchline, but yeah. <laughs> I made that up. I made that up uh, myself. It's one of my favorites. Well, I, okay. I, I, I see. I, I feel you. Okay, so anyway, uh, so Drake is way. cashing in on these royalty checks. Yo. Dude was a legend in Degrassi. Canada. Or it's all Canada. Dre Degrassi was Jimmy the gift Brooke that keeps on giving. Right, Jimmy Brooks? Yeah, Jimmy Brooks. Jimmy Crooks? Jimmy Brooks? I don't know. I didn't watch it. But I know he got shot Jimmy, in a wheelchair. Wheelchair Jimmy. Wheelchair, yeah. Okay. Yep. So, anyways, he got a check for royalties from the show, from all the reruns and stuff. And, dude, this show is in crazy syndication, obviously, because he got a major check. Should I tell him how much? Or you want to tell him? I don't want to... I don't want to... You tell him. This is okay. You sure? Nah, and you, I want to tell him. Okay. No, yeah. I, no, no, I stole no. your. I stole your Migos. No, you joke. tell him. No, 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 no. You fine. tell him. No. We're not going out with the show until you tell him. All right. Eight dollars <laughs> and twenty-five cents. He got the hookup. That is lower you than the know. minimum wage here in New York State these days. Although, fun fact, the minimum wage used to be was like seven thirty-five about like seven ten years ago. I do it. I, I I would think like my first job was in the six dollars. Well, when I was um, I was like. 15 working at the uh, roller skating arena, and I couldn't have been making more than like six something an hour. When I was in college doing work study in Virginia, the minimum wage down there was five five fifty. Like 2002. So, 2000. So you want to look it five. up? What was minimum wage in 2002? Was it high sixes or low seven? In 2002, probably. No, well, I'm just saying to the people watching, they oh, can the, look yeah. it up. Okay. Don't hold me by fact. I don't know. Maybe it was seven twenty-five. I don't know what it was. Anyway, right. so Kermit the Frog. Yeah, we, this is an excellent segue from your frog comparison from Kobayashi. Let's, yeah. We're going to cycle back so we can move forward. Oh, yeah. So anyways, did I say why he was the me? Oh, yeah, because he's all hype. Because he's on the internet talking all this stuff, Kobe, like he can beat everybody, doing all these Instagram videos, acting like he's the ish. But you know what? No one cared about him and his videos. Steve just told me I'm still an intern. That hurts. Well, you're an intern that gets paid then. But at least I have a job, unlike the guy who played Kermit the Frog. Here we go. See, segue. Segue. So the guy that played Kermit the Frog, Steve Wh Yo, Wh Whitmire, Whitmire um, he just got he got canned. And the what? only reason he could come up with for why he got fired, he's been doing it since and 1990. I'm holding up all the screen right? here. You can no, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Um, Jim Henson you know, died in 1990, so this guy took over for him for the last 26 years, almost 30 years, 27 years. He's been playing uh, Kermit, and they fired him. The only reason he could come up with was that he used to... I'm sorry, I was just doing Kermit the Frog. Oh, okay. I, I, thought was just like, I thought this was part of our feud. I thought you were like, he doesn't shut up. No, no. Um, I was just picturing because they're puppets. Like, they're moving them out. Kermit the Frog, right? <laughs> so this guy used to make... So there was that, that Muppets show that ran on ABC for like a season. And he would make notes on the script being like, I don't fit, think this fits Kermit's character. And so he thought that's why they fired him. But then Jim Henson's children, his son and his daughter, came out and were like, no, actually, it's because you played, you played him as a... Um, what was the direct quote from the daughter? It was like a depre a bitter, depressed victim playing Kermit, like, and he wasn't fun or funny for the last couple of years. And then the son was like, yeah, and, you know, he tried to leverage his position as Kermit, basically being like, well, I'm Kermit, and you can't get rid of me because I'm Kermit, so uh, meet my demands. And they said he had a destructive personality, so look at... Look how that leveraging said, went uh, for him. See? Yeah, they, they, uh, that kind of backfired. Yeah. He's gone. That's interesting here. It's just funny that so much drama is surrounding the Muppets because you think of that as just like a wholesome, like, iconic American, innocent form of entertainment. It's like Disney, like a little bit edgier Disney. I think that there should be an edgy version of Kermit the Frog that comes out that's based off of 
the tea sip in Kermit, the okay. meme Kermit. Yeah. Like, have it be like, Kermit, Kermit meets the memes. You could call him Dermot. Dermot. Like, yeah, d- like Dark Kermit. There you go. Oh, well, like that's that. like that Dark Kermit meme where he's looking at himself. Yeah, that's what the, I mean. Like, yeah, all the, the like, you hood. just base it off of the memes. Because mm-hmm. in all the memes, like, Kermit's not like Mr. Innocent. He's like sipping, judging, you know, with the T1 or with the, uh, where he has the Darth Vader hoodie and all that stuff on. So, I think that would be a hit. Um, okay, so we're running low on time here, so True. we're going to talk about Ray Shremmerd. Shremmer, Shremmer, Ray Shremmer, Shremmerd. They, uh, they're going to be some comic book characters in some uh, comic book. Yeah, and that's all I know about that. But what I do know is that the Black Eyed Peas are also making their own comic book graphic novel. And there's this, some points of contention as to whether or not Fergie is still with the Black Eyed Peas. Because at first it was like, oh, she's gone, you know, they're like subtweeting her. And uh, then they were like, well, no, she's not officially gone. She's just working on her own thing now. But they're doing a zombie apocalypse hip-hop graphic novel where they are basically basing characters on themselves for this. What are Ray Shrimmer up to for there? Um, it looks like they're going to be in a comic book and they're going to be characters made after them. Oh, that should be just fascinating. You know, a very wise man once said that um, Sway Lee, one half of Ray Shrimmer, is the greatest lyricist of our time. <laughs> somebody totally said that. <laughs> I know somebody actually. Somebody in this building said that. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness, Sway Lee and Slim Jimmy. <laughs> Listen, they make some good party songs, but lyricists. Oh goodness gracious! Oh, also here's better something. than better than Kendrick Lamar, better than J Cole. Here's a here's a little bit of trivia that we left off the sheet. Shoot, I just I just brain farted it right out of my head. I was gonna say something, Some and now I can't remember what it was. I was like, I got something to say. What the heck? Where did it go? That I was just the Alan had of Jakes. He's not supposed to be here. Yeah. What you? What did you? I snitched on him. You let that go? Mm-hmm. Like, I can't Do believe you're just it. breaking rules like that. Do you remember what slipped from your mind, piece? I'm trying. I'm trying to think here. Entertain the people for a second. Okay. Well, this is what I'm gonna do as we get ready to. Uh, Close out the show here. You can check us out Monday through Thursday at 10.30 here on the Jam 96.3 Facebook page. Yo, dude, I... Um, where the We heck? live. Um, we're going to be going as long as we can. Um, shout out to everybody that watches and listens every day. Ray Shremmer. And um, Lee. Now I'm going to play Jamie. you this uh, theme song once again to close out the show. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about this real quick. Okay. Because we still got another... We got a minute before we got to close it out. Scott, we are talking about how... Scott can't just hit the space bar on his computer to play the song because he hasn't downloaded the song onto his computer. He goes to his email and opens it up in his web browser every day to play Mm -hmm. the song. Now, this is the guy who just yesterday called me. He goes, you're the my parents of radio because I was making things more complicated than they needed to be. Now, Scott is being the me of computers by making this more complicated by not just downloading the song. This all stemmed from a conversation about how <coughs> in order to upload a Facebook profile picture, his dad had to friggin' text message a picture to his mom so she could email it to their computer so they could upload it on the on their web browser. But he won't download <laughs> it's a the true Cubicle story. Show theme song. It runs in the family. My parents are so, so good with technology. Ugh. Dang, this is going to bother me. I can't remember. I'm going to have to think about this. We'll talk about it tomorrow if, okay. if I can remember. All right, tomorrow's the last but. show of the week. Um, this theme song was produced by DC. Um, thank you again, DC. All rights reserved, DC, LLC. And we're trying to get this on Spotify so you could jam me, jam, jam. You know jam. that means limited liability corporation? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, so till tomorrow, guess what? Jam's boys. Jam's boys. Oh. Life. One. Cubicle show, cubicle show, cubicle show, cubicle show, that's what I'm talking about, boy, Bill Scott cubicle show, yeah, Bill Scott cubicle show, yeah, Bill Scott, Bill Scott cubicle show, it's the Bill Scott, Bill Scott cubicle show, it's the Bill Scott, Bill Scott cubicle show, it's the Bill Scott, Bill Scott cubicle show, cubicle show, cubicle show, cubicle show, cubicle show, not a triangle show, not a pyramid show. It's a cubicle show. Bill's got cubicle show. Yeah. Bill's got cubicle show. Yeah.
<laughs> we just got to do one. Boy! Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay, bye.